Hi, my name is Gus Gaysbrook, and today I've got a video for you about Facebook dynamic product ads. What are they? So I've put together this video just to give you a few examples of what the videos are like and also some steps on how to set it up in your account. So let's have a look at it first. All right, so Facebook ads, they allow you to create ads on the fly, uh, advertising a product on your store that the visit visitors viewed. So when a visitor goes to your store and sees a product, um, then they go away from that and they're just browsing on Facebook. They then see that dynamic ad served up to them again with the product that they just saw. So you, you would have experienced that before when you visit um, Shopify stores and other stores. So if we just have a quick look at what Facebook says about it, Essentially, it's what they call dynamically promoting products and the best thing about it, it's always on, works different devices and shows them the products that they're interested in. So essentially, you upload your product catalog, you set up your pixel, you create the dynamic template and then you run your ads. So that's what Facebook's got to say about it, pretty straightforward. I want to go through some examples of some ads. We'll go through these first. I've got a few here. So these are carousel ads and they're retargeting ads. And as you can see, they're made up of um, these, in this particular case, these pictures. So you'll have this first picture, this image, and then you'll have the next image and it will actually scroll across. So this is a great example of, of the carousel retargeting ad. So let's have a look at another one. Recycled Firefighter. So you can use what they've done here. So see, see what they've done here. They've got um, basically a few of the features and why you would buy from them. And each one of these products um, is in their carousel or in their catalog. And it's got the price in the shop now. So And this will scroll through and you'll see different products. And then you just click on the one that you want. Let's have a look at Dharma Shop. So as you can see, they've got different uh, sizes. So this one's a large, a larger image and a smaller image. Um, plus, the, also these ones are actually running uh, in this particular one. They're, they're they're putting the text in here. You can actually set that up in the template, and they've also put some text here that they can control. So you can control that, and also they've used a uh, coupon code to get twenty percent off. That's a technique that's used a lot. Sure Design T-shirts. Here's another one. Free international shipping for the next 24 hours. And then it's got a uh, user code at the checkout. So you would just enter in that into the checkout. Then you've got the, the different images here of product in use on a model. Uh, and you'll notice here the setup with the name of the, uh, the product essentially and the free international shipping. Another example unique tea shop <clears throat> so this one here we've got different products and they're offering a 50% off for shopping now haven't just seen you for a while ready to make a purchase yet so they're making that call to action to get you back to the store this one's on a necklace my name necklace and it shows the different types of necklaces uh, and also offering up to a 25% discount so that's a, a used a lot, that technique. Okay, so you got these pants here. They've got a free, sh a free ship coupon at checkout and encourage you to come back. They don't actually have the buy now button, but when you click this, it'll take you through to the page. And also they've put the link in there again as well. All right, this next one's just running t-shirts. So you can see in this carousel ad, you'll be able to go through the different ones. It's got the name of the product and then shop now. And also it's 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 calling you out saying, did you forget to order these? are almost gone, don't miss out, may never be sold again. So it's showing a bit of scarcity there. And, and it's also acknowledging that you've seen the ad, uh, you've seen the product before, but you perhaps didn't order it. So that's a, a good call to action on the retargeting. Uh, two more ads to have a look at. This one here, another t-shirt. 
so you've got the two shirts there just a, a pretty much um, straight a simple uh, simple ad and then click on the image and that will take you straight to the site last one we're running carousel we're looking at about three shirts there with the shop now buttons pretty straightforward so um, that's a good example of the different types of ads uh, and I'll run through quickly how we we or what you need to re how to set this up I won't go into too much detail um, but I'll, I'll show you all the links to get started and what you need to do so the first thing you need is a product catalog um, which I'll get into in a second the second thing is a Facebook pixel set up on your store and you need minimum of three events you need view content add to cart and purchase you also need a dynamic ad template and a product catalog Facebook campaign that's the last thing you need to do now you can set this up manually or within an app um, I've set it up manually and that was before the most of the apps are around they came around after um, I can tell you it's extremely difficult to set it up manually uh, it requires a good understanding of code uh, but I have actually uh, did a post on that so I have a lot of information which I'll put a link in there for you as well but I recommend getting an app the one I recommend the most is from Pixel Perfect from Salty Commerce and it's called um, the Pixel Perfect we'll just have a quick look at it here and it's $14.99 I think a month so this is, has information on what it does and on the Shopify if we have a look here when you visit the App Store you'll actually see this one here you get a seven day trial on that with a video and the main thing is it's literally you one click install you don't do any coding does all the add to carts view contents purchase events does all your Facebook feeds and it sets you up does everything that you need and also you can do for different niches which you can't normally it's a little bit difficult to do niches uh, so you might have different niches in your store and this allows you to do that all right let's have a look at the next one the next one is trackify I haven't used that um, all that much but I've it, um, it does it does work and a lot of people use it so we'll have a quick look at that one that's a little bit more expensive and it has more options it's around the 1995 mark per month so it's more expensive and essentially it, it does the same sort of thing puts the face um, book a Facebook pixel in there sets up your niches so you can target different niches and um, also sets up your catalogs and things like that so lots of information there and also has a trial as well okay so essentially all these apps install uh, the pixels and create the, paddle, uh, the product catalogs and once you've installed and you follow all the instructions you can go ahead and create your first uh, dynamic ad so I'll, I'll run through a quick breakdown of how you do this so the first thing you do is you'd open up the Facebook ad manager uh, you create a new campaign and you would select promote a product catalog that's what you're looking for uh, after after that you would give that campaign a name and you associate a pixel with the catalog if it's asking you to do that the next section will be from the product set so it'll ask you what products you want to select and you would select all initially uh, then you would want to do um, this view you want to select viewed or add to cart but not purchase 14 days that's a, a pretty common one you want to select autom automatic placement maybe a five dollar ad uh, budget per day uh, give the ad set a name click continue then you go on to the the different formats of the ads and this one you want to select is the carousel ad format and then select a Facebook page associated with it now this is where you can change the see more URL and the text in the ad you can update that also select a call to action button for example shop now or learn more when it goes to Instagram it will actually say learn more by, um, by default um, next one optional display link you can actually put in there perhaps your website address maybe domain name for example and also make sure that select tracked or conversions from my Facebook pixel is ticked and then click place order and then you successfully set up your first dynamic product ad so um, basically that's how you do it and uh, once you've got it running uh, 
it's totally automatic and of course you can do different variations of this and to set it up but you get a lot better ROI because the people have seen the product they then see your ads and then come back to your website and make a purchase and that's how it all works so I've given you the the best way to get started quickly and I recommend those apps especially this one down here the pixel perfect but I would try both if you like just remember that you can't have any pixels already installed or any extra code to do with the pixels so make sure that's out and also you check out um, if you've put any scripts for your checkout make sure that that doesn't interfere with it because you don't want to have extra pixels in there and then install these apps with the pixels all right if you have any questions put them down below and i will get back to you thank you see you tomorrow bye